Good afternoon and welcome everybody to live action here in White Fe- or, uh, Woodsville, New Hampshire. Uh, they started a little bit early off and we do have our first strikeout of the game. Uh, Versus Shalinor struck out. We're going to get as close as we can to get in the lineup to you guys. You're watching High School Varsity Softball here on the Flume Stream Entertainment Network. Brought to you by the Alpine Clinic and Little Tree Regional Healthcare. Uh, that is a strike to uh, Morgan Doolin, our third baseman. Um, I am Chad Fillion, your host and announcer for today. We're sitting right here with James Dugay. We got Brody Tours and Keegan Fillion on the. Ooh, missed bunt there. Caught, struck him out. Oh, no, it was just a foul. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, we got uh, underway really quickly here in uh, Woodsville, New Hampshire. We got Spartans taking on Woodsville Engineers in a D3 D4 mixed into division matchup. That is another strike coming down the line. Um, Kingsbury's really pushing it to them. That's two strikeouts in a row. Coming up to the bat right now, we got uh, there. We go. We got uh, Delaney Robinson, our center fielder, coming up to the bat right now. Delaney's a senior center fielder, first at bat. Like I said, we're at the top of the game. Uh, we did miss our pregame, but it is brought to you by White Mountains Community College with locations in Berlin, Littleton, North Conway. White Mountain Conway, uh, White Mountain Community College provides quality education in your backyard. Visit them online at wmcc.edu. Your adventure awaits. So we got two balls and one strike as our count right here to our center fielder, Delaney Robinson. Another ball down the line. We had a chance to talk with uh, both Dana Huntington and Kaylee Gonier before the game, and we got some insight that we'll share with you as soon as we can about the lineups and the, the pitching match that we're looking at here. We got a walk there to Delaney Robinson. That puts them on first base. And we got uh, McIntosh coming up, who's our pitcher. Um, Lexi, she's going to be on the mound here for the day, and it's going to be a, a great matchup between. Uh, Lexi and McKenzie, talking to both coaches, they said this is going to be uh, the, the battle of wits with these two on the mound. Ball in there. Robinson with a little bit of a leadoff. Turn it right back around. Beautiful sunny day here. Just about 68 degrees. Another strike right down the middle there to our pitcher, McIntosh. <laughs> Another one right in. Looking at a uh, two and one or one and two count right now. And into Macintosh's sweet zone here in the middle of the count. Ooh, outside corner for the third. That gets them another out. And we're going to side change, but. We're going to do what we can to get you your starter lineup. And like I said, our starting lineup today is brought to you by George M. Stevens & Sons, offering home, auto, life, and commercial insurance throughout the North Country. Visit them at their locations in Littleton, Fulbrook, Lancaster, and Lisbon, or check them out online at gmsins.com. Now, we did miss it, but we're going to do the starting lineup for the batting order for your White Mountain Spartans. So leading it off, we have uh, Sierra Shalinor, followed by Morgan Doolin, and then Delaney Robinson with our fourth cleanup batter, Lexi McIntosh, who struck out there at the end. Then coming up at the top of the order next time, we're going to have Carissa Shalinor, followed by Ava Simpson. And then we're going to go to Tara St. Cyr, and we're going to have Jayla Bennett, and then Emma Simpson. And then out there in the field for your engineers, we've got Mackenzie Kingsbury on the mound, pitching over to Emily Farr, who's our catcher. First base is Mackenzie Griswold. Second base, you're going to have Dory Roy. And then over in third base, you got Leah Krull. And then at shortstop, you got Anna McIntyre. Then in the outfield, right around the horn, you've got Jessica Riley in left field. And you've got uh, Maddie Roy in center field, followed up by Eliza Wagstaff in right field. So we're going to see those starting lineups for the uh, 
uh, Woodsville Engineers. They're coming to the plate in this order, actually. we got Matty Roy, followed by Leah Krull and Mackenzie Kingsbury, and then Anna McIntyre, Emily Farr, and Mackenzie Griswold. And we'll get to the rest of those lineups as we go in. As I said, abbreviated start here at the beginning of the game. We had a scheduled original 4 o'clock start, and then we got an email the other day that said it was going to be a 3.30 start. <laughs> I looked down at the clock to go live with the beginning of our pregame, and they're lining up to pitch the first pitch at 3.15. So they really had us under the gun here, but that's all right. We got it all in. We'll do what we can to get them their lineup. Coming to the plate right now, we do have um, Maddie Roy, our center fielder. She's leading things off for the engineers. Oh, bunt right off the top of the order. A nice, safe run right to first to get things started. We'll call that a first base hit. That is the first hit of the game. We had a walk early on, but uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, Leah, uh, Leah Krull coming up to the bat, number four. Leah's a senior, right-handed batter, playing third base today. And we got a Matty Roy with the stolen base there. Heading her off from the second. I got my graphic updated now. So, like I said, we got Leah Krell at the plate. The strike into them. 0-1 count. No outs. Back to McIntosh into a position. Beautiful delivery. Just a little high, though, unfortunately. I'm looking to get a, a pitching gun to get some of these speeds on some of these pitches. I swear they're, they're clearing 60 with no problem. Probably mid 60s on some of these pitches. Bunt showing. Pulled it back. Throw down to third to keep Matty Roy honest. We got a one and two strike, a one and two count right now. Leah Krell showing the bunt. We'll see if they position it again. Might be a sack bunt, but uh, Matty Roy over to third into a scoring position here. High for. Ball two. Two and two count here in beautiful, sunny, taste of summer afternoon in Woodsville, New Hampshire. Out back behind the elementary school. A nice hit right up the middle, out to the right field. Matty Roy's going to round, got to play at the plate, clean standing up, and Leah Krull's going to get a nice double to get them into the inning. We got a timeout called in the field. We got uh, Mackenzie Kingsbury coming up to the plate. She's our pitcher, but not before that first run scores with an RBI double to Leah Krull. You hear the bench and the engineers cheering their pitcher on. First strike thrown. Yeah, runner on second after a beautiful strike right past the second baseman. Pop fly out over the fence and drops into the net of the pitch cage. Ooh, deep hit out to right. Caught. Very nice play. And Kingsbury will tag, or uh, sorry, Leah Krull will tag up. Make it over to third. We got one out. Beautiful play by Carissa Shalinar out there in right field. Catch that. Throwing it in time to keep that other run from coming around. We got one out, one run scored. Engineers showing an early lead to let the Spartans know that they mean business today. In the dirt for ball. Anna McIntyre at the plate, a shortstop, number 26. She's a senior. Swinging around, got a foul tip piece of that one. 
We got a one on one count right now. One out. Runner on third. Leah Carl did get an RBI double to give the Woodsville Engineers their first run of the game. And then Kingsbury, Mackenzie Kingsbury sent a deep fly out into right field to put Leah Carl onto third base. Now the foul tip there puts us at a one and two count. Talking with uh, Haley Gagnier before the game here, we mentioned how this is going to be a, a pitch and duel between. Uh, oh, look at that strike right down there. Beautiful pitch. McIntyre will retire with a K. That is the first K for. Ball for the first pitch. Kingsbury's pitched 17 so far in this first inning. Very early, very early in the game, though. Inside on that one to number 21. It's uh, Emily Farr. She's our catcher. I update my data there. Make sure that we got uh, that's a strike two. Deep fly. Not before the run scores. We got a courtesy runner coming in for the catcher. Now I'm going to take a minute to make sure everything is all squared away here. A little different running the stats here behind the board. Not only announcing, but keep track of the scoring. So it's a little bit like taking taking care of the book, but we got a few other pieces of dynamics that we got. Got a runner on first with. Uh, That uh, McIntyre on the first. Well, actually, uh, we got a, a courtesy runner for far now. I'm sorry. We got Liza Wagstaff coming up now. Foul ball. We got 0 and 2 count. Out at first base. That was actually uh, Griswold, number 17. So not before the fields retire, we're going to take a quick break here. We got uh, Woodsville Engineers leading two to nothing as the Spartans are coming up to bat here at the top of the second. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Hi there, I'm Chuck Lloyd, president at White Mountains Community College, just talking to you a little bit about our college. We've been here since 1965. We've got three locations in Berlin, Littleton, and North Conway, and we're also online. We have a lot of technical programs, and we have a lot of online, remote, synchronous, asynchronous, whatever works best for your schedule. We are the only higher ed institution in New Hampshire above the notches. And what that means for us is we've got to be all things to all people. And we aim to try to do that by responding to workforce needs, industry and business, and partner locally with the needs of our communities. We could not be more excited to host new students coming in January. At Woodsville Guarantee Savings Bank, we understand that everyone's different. We also know that we're a lot alike. 
We love the things that make us each unique and appreciate the things that make us similar, especially when it comes to money matters. That's why we're here, to help people just like you handle your personal or business banking and be the best you you can be. To get started, visit one of our offices or open an account online at theguaranteebank.com. Woodsville Guarantee Savings Bank, just like you. And we're back. We got Carissa Schellenar leading us off at the top of the second here in Woodsville, New Hampshire with a single pitch strike. Strike two to Carissa Shalinor. A lot of chatter coming for the Spartans. Today's match. broadcast is brought to you in part Deep by swing the Alpine Clinic. Leaders. That is the fourth strikeout by my books for Maddie Kingsbury. Or Mackenzie Kingsbury. My apologies. All right, we got Ava Simpson coming up, our shortstop. Nice swing on that one, but it's still a miss there. Zero one count. Another strike. Ava Simpson playing on the team with her sister, Emma Simpson, who's a freshman. That's a third looker right there for another K. Simpson strikes out. Two up, two down. Coming up to the plate now, we got Tara St. Cyr. There's our outfield left fielder. That's our first at bat. A little high on that one there. Ball one. Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. Sunny, 67 degrees. Ball coming at my face. We've got a couple of crews here. Anna Sands here on the site as well. They knew that this was going to be a game to watch, so they came out for this event as well. We're glad to welcome them to the field. Ben Sackett, good friend. Great announcers on their side as well. Chat with them a bit. Another ball. That gives us a 3-0 and count to Tara St. Cyr. Let's see, another walk here. Swing at it, miss. Strike one, three and one count. Kenzie Kingsbury, you know, inning and a half right in, but she's keeping her pitch count way down. Another strike there. A total of five strikeouts and one walk on Kenzie at this point. Ooh, inside, taking their base. Puts a, another runner on the bag. Puts Jalen Bennett, number 11, a junior from White Mountains, up to the bat. Seen a lot of these names come across our desk when we were covering basketball earlier. And I do believe some of them are also soccer players. A lot of three-sport athletes over at Sparta. Glad to be here supporting them on their trip down to Woodsville. First pitch of ball. Swinging it inside for a strike. Gives us a one on one count. Yeah, single runner with St. Cyr on first base. One on one count from Kingsbury. Right down the middle. Ahead in the count at this point, two and one. Runner on first. A lot of chatter coming from the Spartan Benz, encouraging them. Swing and a miss. That finishes out that side. With four batters faced, one ball. I mean, so one walk and three strikeouts. We're going to go to the uh, bottom half of the second. We're going to lead off with Roy. Griswold, and then Roy. We got some sisters and cousins that are coming in there. So stick around. You're at the middle of the second. Spartans just behind the engineers, 0-2. to two. 
but uh, engineers are going to make an impact here. So stick around. Welcome back to Woodsville, where the engineers are hosting the Spartans from White Mountains. We got Abby. Oh, Dory Roy. Nice hit there, deep center for a leadoff single. Strike one. <clears throat> Liza Wagstaff with a foul there. I'm just uh, taking a moment here. My apologies while you listen to dead air while I try to fix I got a little bit of a mistake in my order here. I'm making sure that I got the right players in the right positions. We move some stuff around. Make sure we accommodate it appropriately. And may have been calling a, a few wrong names, so we're going to clean that up right now. So that was uh, Jessica Riley that led us off with a hit, number 30. And we got another strike there. Two strikes is the count to Eliza Wagstaff. My apologies to these students as I messed up their name early on, but we're getting in the rhythm here. The ball. And they got him safe. Great job by Riley on that. On timeout. Literally lifting up the bag on that one. Make sure that they're good to go. Marker with a stolen base. It's a second base stolen by the engineers today. We got a, a two and one count right now to Liza Wagstaff. That's another strike called for out. So we got Dory Roy coming up. Ball one called. Dory Roy. Sophomore playing second base. Uh, actually, my apologies. Back in a different order there. Number two that we have, so that's Matty Roy. Two and 
two and one count. Two and two count, Matty Roy. Swing and a miss, the third out in the inning. That's going to close that one out. We got Spartans coming up to the bat here. We're going to lead that off with Emma Simpson, followed by Chris Shalinor and Morgan Doolin. And we'll be right back in just a few minutes. You're watching High School Softball here on Flumestream Entertainment Network. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by The Alpine Clinic, leaders in orthopedics, sports medicine, pain management, and neurosurgery, offering specialized care in four convenient locations, Littleton, Franconia, Plymouth, and North Conway. And by Littleton Regional Healthcare. You're safe in our care here at Littleton Regional Healthcare. Call your provider's office today to schedule an appointment. Walker Motor Sales is a comprehensive Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram new and used car dealership located in Woodsville, New Hampshire. Celebrating over 85 years as a family-owned dealership, anything you could want that relates to new and used Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles, you can find right here under one roof. From straightforward auto financing to the integrity of our used car collection, Walker Motors is your hometown dealership. Visit us online at walkermotor.net or stop in today located on Dartmouth College Highway in Woodsville, New Hampshire. The Alpine Clinic Subspecialty Approach to Care guarantees our patients receive the highly specialized care they need from our team of board-certified, fellowship-trained medical professionals. The Alpine Clinic is a, sub is a division of Littleton Regional Healthcare. Learn more at thealpineclinic.com. Here we are back top of the third. First pitch is in the dirt to number two. I do have that correct. We are back on track. This is Emma Simpson. My apologies. First strike there thrown. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a ball. Ball. One and one now. It's the count. Still shaking the dust off here. My first time leading the game as the head announcer on a play call for spring sports. Another swing strike there to Emma Simpson. Two and two's account. Foul tip. Keeping it alive. Three and two, full count to Emma Simpson, number two, freshman second base. Top of the third inning. Strike three. Sends her walking. Great pitch right there by Kingsbury. Top of the order now. We got uh, Chris Shalinor coming in, number three. Ball in the dirt. Ball one. Seven strikeouts, two walks. No hits at this point. White Mound's looking to make something happen here at the top of their order here in the top third. Another strike right down the middle there to Chalinor. Two and one count. Kingsbury steps to the mound. Spins around a little outside for another ball. Three and one count. A lot of chatter coming from Sparta. Not so much the same as uh, the engineers when they're up to bat. Ooh, that was a great pitch. Levels up the counter. Three and two. Ball 
Ball four taking the base. Puts another runner on the. <clears throat> Chris is Challenger struck out her first at bat. She walks here at the top of the third. Now we see Morgan Doolin, number 18. He's a senior third baseman coming up to the plate. She also struck out her first at bat earlier today. Let's see what we can do here. Showing a bunt. Top of the cage. First strike. Mackenzie Kingsbury doing a good job. Just about that fit, fit count, pitch count right now. Got uh, seven strikeouts. One and one is the count at this point. One out. Got no hits at this point, which is great. Strike right there. Get ahead in the count there. Morgan Doolin. <clears throat> See Morgan a lot on the basketball field. As I mentioned, a lot of multiple sport athletes out here today. Ball inside and high. Two and two. Kingsbury steps to the rubber. Here's a pitch in the windup. Ball on the outside. See Shalinor taking a touch of a lead, trying to get a little action going. They're going to need some runners in position to get some of these scores coming up. They keep staying behind this eight ball. They're going to be playing chase the entire game. And Doolin strikes out on that one. Kingsbury showing a commanding show today. Still early in the game. Delaney Robinson coming up. Um. Scoring says the first at bat, but that first one was scored as a walk the way my system is going. Count hits. So I'll fix that. Pass ball gets them over to second base. Shalinor in position for a nice hit here by Robinson. Runner on second. One and oh count. Two outs. Two strikeouts down. Another ball. 2 0 count now. Robinson looking for something to make some action happen. Get onto the board for Sparta. And there's a nice strike there thrown. The ball thrown. Not nearly as breezy as it was the other day when we had the baseball game at Sparta. And a little bit of wind whipping through. This calm air. Taking the base there for another walk. This calm air. Keeping that heat lingering. Not too hot, but I'm sure in that sun with no cloud cover, it can get a little bit difficult to keep the presence of mind. It's still early in the game, but come by 7th, 8th inning, you're out there in that sun for that long, you really have to have that the wherewithal to keep you out in the game. Two outs now. Runners on first and second. We got Lexi McIntosh coming up, our pitcher. Struck out the first time we saw her. Let's see what you can do here. Strike there, that first pitch. Both Robinson and Shalinor. Showing motions at the bag, hoping to get something happen on the first tickle of a hit. Nice solid swing here. Could open things up. One on one count now. Got the pitcher facing the pitcher now with the pitcher battle. Nice matchup. That's the, the talk that. I was speaking with Coach Gonier and Coach Huntington earlier, and this is the one that coming in, both of them looking for best scoring they can on the mound. The ball there. We got a two and two count now. Two runners on, two outs, top of the third. 
63 pitches thrown with eight strikeouts for Kingsbury. Foul tip, staying in the game. Got two to nothing lead for Woodsville Engineers in this one. We knew this was going to be a low scoring game. We were very excited to see the Engineers take an early lead in that first inning. Now the ball for another full count. Kingsbury going up on the kit. Pit. <laughs> going up with the pitch count here. 65 pitches thrown. Two and two-thirds innings. Now the foul tip there. Playing a bit of a mind game. Three and two count with two outs. In the dirt. Redux on the pawn at this point. And Shalinor coming up to the plate. This could get very interesting. Craig <laughs> one. Chris is Shalinor on the bag. Struck out our first time around. Chris is the right fielder. Number 22, senior. Deep hit. Oh, she went for it. It is a foul ball, though, but that could have ended the inning there. We're going to see another opportunity here for Chris to come up and make something happen. If that was just a little bit further to the left, we would have seen probably a Two to two game. But as such, it did not drop, and it was a foul, and we now have his 0 and 2 count with two outs. Runners on all three bases at this point. High pitch. We got a stolen base. We're coming home for the first one. That'll be a fast ball, I believe. Uh, still uncertain on how to score that, whether that may have been a wild pitch or a pass ball. Probably a wild pitch because the catcher had to get up out of their position and leave their spot, and then the run scores. We're going to put it as such. Just got to remember where to put that on my <laughs> wild pitch. There it is. That's okay. Ball there. Two and two count. Two runners on after the wild pitch. We got Robinson on third, McTosh on second, Shalinar just came in for that run. Another ball here. Kingsbury losing a bit of the touch there. Get her out of this inning, take a moment to breathe and rest, and start back over in a moment. Deep crack. Our left foul territory. Tried for the catch, unfortunately could not make that. Great effort on their part. Third base and Leah Krull running deep for that one. Fortunately, it's just out of reach. So a three and two count. Two outs here in the top of the third. Right down the middle, that's the pitch that she wanted to get out of that inning. And after that, closes it out. We're going to see Krull, Kingsbury, and McIntyre coming up here in the bottom half of the third. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Engineers did hold them off, but the Spartans got one. So we're looking at a 1-2 game here in Woodsville, New Hampshire. Stick around as we got more action coming.
Welcome back here to sunny Woodsville, New Hampshire. It's all Woodsville for us for the next few games. We're going to be here this Friday the 13th as the Engineers host the Lumberjacks in a baseball matchup. And then Monday the 16th, we'll be back here once again as Lisbon comes into town. We're going to see the Lady Panthers square off against these ladies and lady engineers. So uh, a lot of a lot of Woodsville action on our on our radar. Looking forward to bringing it to you live. We're hoping to get in the next one live at Community Field. I've talked with uh, Athletic Director John Lester. There, There's uh, whispers of internet at the pool, but we're going to have to see. But leading us off now here at the bottom of the third, we've got uh, Leah Krull taking the first pitch. They got a, a double at their first at-bat that first time around. Batting second here in the order. First pitch was a ball. Showing bunt just outside for a second ball there. <clears throat> Lexi McIntosh pretty low in there. Pitch count. Leading with three. Three strikeouts. There's a strike there. We got a handful of hits against them, but they've kept the score pretty low. It's two to one at this point with the engineers leading. Bottom of the third inning. Remember, all our games are going to be on uh, replays on our foul ball. Almost at the cameraman. Uh, all our replays are on stream.flume.com. You can check those out anytime you want either on our website, on our Roku or Amazon Fire channels. Uh, they're all free. They're all available for on-demand viewing. Uh, just search Flumestream, that's one word, on your Roku or Amazon device. Ball there. Watch for our replays on your smart TV or your internet-connected device today. Leah's standing up straight, holding up for this next pitch here. Ball tip. He is our third baseman for the engineers. Three and two full count here, the leadoff hitter at the bottom of the third inning. 41 pitches thrown by McIntosh. Nice smack right up to short. Short bobbles it. Leah gets the first base. No problem at all. Going to count that as an error, unfortunately. <laughs> Lear crawl on to first base. Kingsbury coming up to bat. We have the other side of the battle here. Showing bunt. Stolen base there. That down for Leah Crawl. One strike. Leah making some action happen. Getting into scoring position to push that lead a little bit further along. Doing what they can. Right down the middle there for another strike thrown by McIntosh. 0-2 count. Ahead now. And that pitch. Leah Krell taking a big lead off of that. Emily Farr. Or sorry, not Emily Farr. Uh, Jalen Bennett. Catcher for the Spartans. Putting her back in her place. Make sure she knows she's not getting a third unless it's a hit. And there's a hit right there. Ooh, another stumble by shortstop. Leah's round in third, coming home for a stand-up. That's an RBI single for Miss Kingsbury. Got a timeout. And we got a pinch runner happening. Number 22 is running for 15. That's going to be a Roy. That's Anna Roy. 
So we got a three to one lead for the engineers. I think it was those pinch runners, the the designated runners that were helping throw me off earlier in the game. I missed that happen and I'm looking at the bag the bag runners and I'm trying to get count try to get ahead, but I think we got it now. We got designated runner getting to second, round in second, showing an interest to get into third of the first ball thrown to McIntyre. And a McIntyre after the bat and did get a strike out the first time. Another ball in the in the dirt and behind the catcher. It's going to advance them to the Maddie Kingsbury, or sorry, Kingsbury's pitch runner. Two balls, no strikes. And a McIntyre ahead in the count here. Down the middle. Runner on third at this point. Looking for a little bit of action at the plate to get that lead heading up a little bit further. McIntosh is striking back with a strike thrown right down there. To try to catch a count. Two and one count. One away. Here we are at the bottom of the third inning. Sunny Woodsville. Eyeing outside for another ball. 48 pitches thrown by McIntosh. Three strikeouts, face 12 batters, do what they can to keep containment of this small lead that was brewing. Ball, ball out of play there. Last time we were here in this town, the Woodsville took a commanding lead against the Patriots. It was two, uh, unfortunately, mismatched teams when the Patriots came to town. Younger team. Younger roster, looking to do everything that they could, but just couldn't contain against this undefeated Woodsville team. Deep, deep hit, and it's, oh, it's dropped. Unfortunately, the center fielder dropped that one. That was Delaney Robinson, bobbled that just a bit, and uh, allows McIntyre to get on to first base. We got Emily Farr coming up to bat now, number 21. She got a single in her first at bat. Got another run score, so it is a 4 to 1 game now. I have no outs at this point. Ball there low. Emily Farr, number 21, is a senior. Also, our catcher behind the plate. Inside for ball two. Kind of at the knees on that one. Back tire on first base. Swing there. They're showing that she wants she wants them to throw it. Oh she's oh she put herself into a pickle. She's gonna get out of it. They gotta switch up. Oh look at that. She made it around. Great show on that. Great show on that. We got a runner on second. Yeah. Emily Farr, two balls, one strike. Got a stolen base to McIntyre. Made Spartans really work for that one. Swing and a miss on that one. Got a little conversation I'm trying to hear from the umpire talking to Ms. Farr. Question about the swing, I think. Perhaps she uh, wasn't cautious and 
may have came close to hit the catcher. I did not hear it, but it's all right. McIntosh sends that last strike down, and Emily Farr does strike out. But not before a little bit of action happens with McIntyre getting from first to second. Ball one. Ball one to got Riley, number 30. And this is where I got messed up last time. That's number 17, actually. Or is it number seven? Yeah, it's number 17 on my lineup. That's Griswold. Another strike thrown there. One and two count. Mackenzie Griswold yeah. hit to an out in the last inning, and then she strikes out there for another strikeout. So now we've got number 30, Jessica Riley, coming up to the plate. Jessica Riley is our left fielder, senior batter. Thought about it, but saw that it was high at the last moment. Checked their swing. Ball one now. Two outs, bottom of the third. Got a runner on third base. Jessica Riley looking to knock it deep. Just foul into the first base line. Outside of right field territory. Just a little behind that pitch. Half a second earlier, that thing would have dropped right in between second and right field for another scored run. Send another one behind the, into the trees, down into the gully. Two and two count now. Lexi McIntosh getting up there in their pitch count as well. 16 batters faced, five strikeouts. And there's a, another strikeout, bring it to six, and to retire the side. And after three full innings, we've got Woodsville ahead, four to one, with Simpson, St. Cyr, and Bennett coming up in just a few minutes. Stick around. Here at Fireside Hearth and Leisure, we pride ourselves on providing the best possible product to every customer. Every home is different, and we can provide you with the right product, whether it be a small stove for a small space or a large fireplace that can provide clean, renewable energy to the whole house. Located in Lisbon, New Hampshire, contact us today for a free in-home consultation. Fireside Hearth and Leisure. Welcome back to Woodsville as Ava Simpson steps up to the plate. Shortstop, sophomore from Sparta, number 12. She did strike out her first time up to bat, but uh, batting six in the order. Taking the first pitch at the top of the fourth, ball thrown low at the knees. 
A lot of great action from both sides today, keeping it on our toes. Saw some great steals, some great hits, great plays in the field. But more importantly, we got an amazing pitching battle going on between these two. That's a strike there for one and one. Kingsbury is still in right now, 77 pitch count, 15 batters faced with a total of nine strikeouts. There was one wild pitch that did advance a runner, but it did not. Actually, no, I believe it was the wild pitch that scored the run on that. Yeah, I think it was. With the ball there. Two and two count. No outs, top of the fourth. Still not a cloud in the sky. I'm not complaining because, once again, I did remember the tent. We're hiding out behind home plate here. We'll count now. Got a great vantage point. Got our, all six of our cameras up. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout for Simpson. And another K for Kingsbury. And we got Tara St. Cyr coming up to the plate. She had a walk in her first at bat. Batting seventh in the order. High ball there. Tara's a sophomore playing left field today. Most of the action that we've seen is actually dropped over in right field or right up the middle. And they're in the position today where the sun is beating right down on them. One on one count. Mackenzie's still doing a great job at sending them in there pretty quickly. Two and one count. Just on the outside corner for that one. Foul ball tip there. Just outside. Two and two count now. Decent crowd showing up out in the outfield, out in right field. Outside ball on that one. Can't see the bleachers underneath the scoreboard here in Woodville because the home team dugout is obstructing the view. But last time we were here, there was quite a crowd. Saints here is going to take a walk on that one. On base twice. No runs to show. Jalen Bennett stepping up. They struck out their first time around. Junior. Jalen is our catcher for Sparta. Ball low for the first pitch thrown. St. Cyr's been a little conservative. No lead on there on first base. Swing and a miss. First strike there. Then it was looking to make something happen, get a little action moving. Fortunately, just missed it. Two great matched up teams here with D4, D3 interdivision matchup. White Mountain Regional Spartans coming in for an early start. Game started about 3.15 today. We anticipated a 3.30 start after it changed from 4 o'clock. So everything was pretty much lickety split right from the get go. We got a two and two count now. Jalen Bennett looking to make something happen here. St. Cyr on first base. Crack foul. Nice swing. A little late though. Kingsbury stepping up to the rubber. Making the miss position. Rolling it to the catcher. 
think that one slipped out of her hand a little bit there. We'll give her that. Happens. I know I couldn't do what they do. Three and two count now. Going to reset and swing and a miss. She got what she wanted out of Miss Bennett. And that's two strikeouts this inning. Emma Simpson coming up now. Is that Emma Simpson? I apologize. I missed the number on that. Yes, Miss Simpson. Right. Emma is a freshman, number two, second baseman. She struck out the first time we saw. Second pitch, second strike. Tickling that 100 pitch count there for Kingsbury. 18 batters faced. Strike three. That ends the inning there. So after four and a half, Woodsville is still holding on to their 4 1 lead. We're going to see Wagstaff, Roy, and Roy lead us off 8 9 and 1 when we come back. Stick around. Don't delay your health care. It's time to resume important medical services such as chronic disease maintenance, routine screening, specialist consultations, and vital surgical procedures. Postponing these services is not recommended and may lead to worsening conditions, delayed intervention, or prolonged recovery. You're safe in our care at Littleton Regional Healthcare. Call your provider's office or call 603-444-9000 to schedule an appointment today. We're here in sunny Woodsville. First pitch thrown as a strike to Eliza Wagstaff. We're at the bottom of the fourth inning here in Woodsville. Got a, a great pitching battle going on with McIntosh still on the mound. Another strike thrown there. McIntosh has thrown 66 pitches with six strikeouts. Got a pretty decent strike percentage. A ball thrown there. 72 strike percentage. 17 batters face, 22 pitches per inning, which is a pretty good count there. Eliza Wagstaff at the plate right now. The freshman, right fielder. Another strike thrown. That's the first pitch out, so. We got Roy coming up to the plate now. Strike thrown there. Ooh. Keep them on the toes over there on the Woodsville bench. Sophomore. Dory Roy clocking it quickly right outside the, the warm-up circle there. Almost knocked. I, I can't keep track. It's either her sister or her cousin, Maddie Roy. Another strike thrown. And that is two up, two down. Eight strikeouts for McIntosh right now. Top of the order, Maddie Roy, senior number two. Center fielder, left-handed batter. Get a presence known at the plate here. Showing bunt. 
foul tip. Had a single in the first inning at the top to lead off the, the game to really set things to tone. And then struck out at the end of the second inning. Here they are showing bunt for the first strike thrown. One of only two left-handed batters on the team. Make McIntosh think about the position after throwing rights all day long. A little bit high there. One-on-one -on -one count now. Matty Roy getting settled in. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. And there's another one. Throwing two strikes, one ball. I got a little confused there. Looked a little bit outside. Shown bunt again. Foul tip. Foul tip on the third, and that is it. Another strike thrown there. Unfortunately, that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Woodsville. We're going to see the other side of the order, Emma Simpson. Followed by Carissa Shalinor and Morgan Doolin to lead us off into top of the lineup for uh, White Mountains. Actually, I'm sorry, not Emma Simpson. She struck out the last one. i got to reset that. But, yeah, it was top of the order. Shalinor, Doolin, and Robinson, when we get back, stick around. Located in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, the Maplewood Golf Club is an historic property offering an 18-hole Donald Ross-designed golf course. It also provides a grand ballroom and parlors for weddings and events, corporate outings, business meetings, accommodations, scenic views, and on-site Ivy Chapel for your wedding ceremony. Now offering midweek and after-hours rates, the Maplewood Golf Club offers an exceptional quality at an affordable price. With a long and storied history, the Maplewood invites you to come and play. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by The Alpine Clinic, leaders in orthopedics, sports medicine, pain management, and neurosurgery. Offering specialized care in four convenient locations, Littleton, Franconia, Plymouth, and North Conway. And by Littleton Regional Healthcare. You're safe in our care here at Littleton Regional Healthcare. Call your provider's office today to schedule an appointment. Welcome back to sunny Woodsville. Top of the order at the top of the fifth. Carissa Schallener stepping up to the plate. Sophomore struck out her first at bat and then had a walk. In the third inning, watches a strike fly by for that first pitch at the top of the fifth here. 0 oh, and 2 is her positioning with that strikeout and a walk. Hopefully, we get to see a little action here. Second swing, second pitch, second strike. Third time at bat. Woodsville looking to contain the Spartans here as they get to the second half of the game. Three up, three down for those pitches. Well, three up, three down is three eight batters up. Three pitches, three strikes is what I should be saying. Get a little tongue-tied behind here as I'm kind of half paying attention to myself and half paying attention to the game. Bunt, foul tip. Drops behind there. But not before Morgan Doolin could really dig in and take off. Get about two-thirds of the way down to the bag before it actually hit the ground, which is Great speed, great hustle. On one count now, Doolin. She offered for the bunt. Rolled down, would have been a ball had she pulled around, but she stuck there and it was a strike. On a two count now. And she swung and missed on that one, unfortunately. Another strikeout, Kingsbury. Impressive performance for Kingsbury on the mound today. 14 is what I've got on my count. Another strike thrown there. Delaney Robinson, our center fielder. Two walks from them today. Again, our graphic still showing first at bat because they don't have a hit, but we do see them as showing. Two walks on our register. Senior number 25. Swing and a miss there. We got a one and two count. 
There are two outs, top of the fifth. Kingsbury controlling every step of that inning there. Three up, three down is now safe to say. <laughs> All right, so after the first half of that fifth inning, there's not a lot to show for the, the batting, unfortunately, for Sparta. We get uh, 22 batters faced. I got a, a couple of no, I actually don't have any registered hits. We have one run that happened on a wild pitch. So I'm not sure exactly how that would score out in the book when you talk about no hitter. Um, I guess technically there's no hits. But uh, we do have a lot of walks on there. We got five, or six walks from Kingsbury. But uh, not a lot of action as far as the hitting side. But as Spartan takes the field, we uh, have a moment. I'm going to. Remind you that if you're interested in advertising during our games or any of our original programming, we would love to hear from you. We're looking for advertisers both to finish out the, the rest of the season, some of our summer events that we got planning, and then, of course, our 22-23 sports season that we're going to be kicking off here. Drop an email to our staff at advertising at flume.com for more information on our different advertising packages that we have. Commercial ad space is available for live sports, live music, new upcoming series and syndicated programs. Visit us online at stream.flume.com to see what we offer. We got Leah Krull coming up, number four. She's a senior third baseman to finish out the uh, second half of the fifth inning here. Still cruising around at 67 degrees, 70 degrees in that area. Beautiful sunny day in Woodsville. Couldn't ask for more picture-perfect weather. For beautiful activity out of play against the uh, warning fence to stop it from going down the gully. First pitch to foul. 0-1 count to Leah Kroll. McIntosh. Ready in the pitch. Deep hit to right field drops foul just outside of that Anna Roy, number 22. I think we may have had a sub come in there. I missed it. That's all right. She's fielding out there. Strike three to crawl. My apologies. I was reading off the, the wrong. That's Carissa Shalinor. Obviously, Anna Roy is not fielding right now because Anna Roy's team is at bat. So that's me just looking at the sheet wrong. Apologize to both Anna and Carissa. Carissa made a great play to try to get in there and catch that fly ball. It was just out of reach. We got Kingsbury up now. I'll tip there. Got two strikes for the count. Swing and a miss there. Kingsbury strikes out. It's got to be difficult for a pitcher to strike out to a pitcher, but, you know, it's happened to both of them. McIntosh struck out in the first inning, and then Kingsbury just struck out there. So they both had their even Stevens, so to speak. Foul tip there. Come from McIntyre, number 26. Senior shortstop. Anna Mack is what they're calling her from the plate, or from the dugout. Anna Max swinging for a second one. Another one dropping just behind our camera operators. You know, it takes a little bit of skill to dodge some of those line drive foul tips that come at them. Give them credit when they're dodging. That one went way up over their heads, though. They, no worries on that one there. 0-2 oh, the count. Anna Mac doing what they can to keep things alive for Woodsville.
No, we got a, a drop third ball. And that ends the inning. So three up, three down there. And brings us into the top of the sixth inning. We're going to see McIntosh, all by Shalinor and Simpson to head us into the top of the six. We'll be right back after these messages. Walker Motor Sales is a comprehensive Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram new and used car dealership located in Woodsville, New Hampshire. Celebrating over 85 years as a family-owned dealership, anything you could want that relates to new and used Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram vehicles, you can find right here under one roof. From straightforward auto financing to the integrity of our used car collection, Walker Motors is your hometown dealership. Visit us online at walkermotor.net or stop in today. Located on Dartmouth College Highway in Woodsville, New Hampshire. Covering you at home, at work, and at play, George M. Stevens Insurance is the only local agency to offer personal and commercial insurance as well as health, life, and financial services. With offices throughout the North Country, we service your complete insurance needs. As a trusted choice insurance agency, we research coverage options from the nation's top companies to ensure that your policy works for you. George M. Stevens Insurance, protecting New Hampshire and Vermont since 1882. Welcome back to Woodsville as the Spartans take to the plate to start off the sixth inning here in Woodsville, New Hampshire. We got uh, McIntosh, Lexi stepping up. He's done an amazing job on the mound today, keeping Woodsville down to just four runs. First strike, a little bit low, but we let them professional. Late callers call those calls. Oh, one's the count to McIntosh. Struck out the first at bat, and we had a base on balls. Kingsbury's over the 100 pitch count at this point. Another foul tip there. Yeah, 109 pitches total, 15 strikeouts for Matty Kingsbury. An impressive job on the mound there. Five full innings pitched, 22 batters faced. Another foul tip. McIntosh really making them work when they shag them balls. We got the umpire reminding players to stay within the dugout. And to remind only players in the dugout, only uniformed individuals can be in the dugout. We've got a couple of spectators hanging out there showing their support. Just getting a gentle reminder. Deep fly out to center field. Dropping back. Oh, bobbles the ball. It's a fair ball. That was that was close. McIntosh started to give up. Thought that was a sure, sure catch. Wasn't even to first base when it landed. Kind of one against my thoughts of running it all the way around until it drops. Could have made a double out of that one, but they are safe at first. With Shalinor coming up to bat. First pitch is a, a ball. Strike there. Chris Shalinar, number 22, senior right fielder. Struck out their first two times at bat. Looking to make something happen here to get some of those runners around. Crack there, giving a second chance. Caught third baseman, Leah Crawl, making easy work of that high fly infield fly. Shalinor will register that as another missed opportunity. Liam McIntosh safely still at first base, looking to move their way around. First hit of the day for McIntosh. K-1 
Kingsbury on the mound. A little high on that first pitch there to Simpson. One ball, no strikes. Ava Simpson, number 12, sophomore. Shortstop, batting sixth for the Spartans. Taking another ball there on a high pitch. Ava Simpson did have two strikeouts, looking to make a little action happen to move McIntosh around the bags a little bit. Spartans cheering their players on for the bench. Swinging a strike there. A little bit inside. Still plenty of time left in this count, though. Two and one. One away from the infield pop fly to Leah Krull at third base. Foul tip there. Simpson staying alive. Two and two now. Woodsville leading four to one here. A home field advantage against the Spartans coming in Division Three. Spartans have a five and three count, where the Woodsville look to command their ten and zero undefeated season right now. Three and two count. Swing and a miss there. Simpson goes down. Not without a fight, though. Got to put that into the books there. That's a 16th strikeout for Kingsbury. 120 pitches thrown is what my count has. Getting up there in the count. But not looking any less good as they were early in the beginning. First pitch thrown was a ball. Second ball there. Two and zero oh count. Terra Saint Seer now. Strike there. Sophomore St. Sears, our left fielder, number 26. Two base on balls. Swing with a foul to the third base line there. Two and two count. Spartans really looking to make some action happen here, but nothing's falling in their favor, unfortunately. Swing a little low on that. Abandoning. And that's another swing and a strike there. Ending out that inning there. So coming up next, we're going to have Farr, Griswold, and Riley as Woodsville comes back up to the plate to finish out the sixth inning. You're watching High School Softball here on the Flume Stream Entertainment Network. Hi there, I'm Chuck Lloyd, president at White Mountains Community College, just talking to you a little bit about our college. We've been here since 1965. We've got three locations in Berlin, Littleton, and North Conway, and we're also online. We have a lot of technical programs, and we have a lot of online, remote synchronous, asynchronous, whatever works best for your schedule. We are the only higher ed institution in New Hampshire above the notches. And what that means for us is we've got to be all things to all people. And we aim to try to do that by responding to workforce needs, industry and business, and partner locally with the needs of our communities. We could not be more excited to host new students coming in January. Here at Fireside Hearth and Leisure, we pride ourselves on providing the best possible product to every customer. Every home is different, and we can provide you with the right product, whether it be a small stove for a small space or a large fireplace that can provide clean, renewable energy to the whole house. Located in Lisbon, New Hampshire, contact us today for a free in-home consultation. Fireside, Hearth and Leisure. Here we are back in Woodsville as the Spartans are getting ready to face off against Woodsville batters to finish out the bottom of the sixth inning. Emily Farr is stepping up to lead us off for Woodsville. Senior number 21. She's our catcher. 
He had a base hit in the first inning and then a strikeout in the third. Showing a swing and a miss there for a first strike pitched. I was talking with Kaylee Gagne earlier, and she knew that these Woodsville players were going to run the bases on the Spartans, and they wanted to keep them down. And I think they've done an exceptional job. They do have four runs in, but these Spartans are still in the game. We got McIntosh throwing an impressive 85 pitches at this point here. We got a one on one count. Oh, I'm sorry. Another strike thrown there. One and two count. They knew they were going to face a lot of strikeouts. Spartans coming into this game. They wanted to return in kind. And that they have there with Miss McIntosh throwing another strikeout. With Emily Farr closing out that at bat with another K. Giving us Mackenzie Griswold, our first baseman. Mackenzie had a pop fly out and a strikeout. And then we got a line drive right to first baseman. Sierra Shalinor makes light duty of that for a second out. Keeping that pitch count down. We got Jessica Riley coming up. She's our left fielder, number 30. Foul ball there. Foul tip there for another one. Oh, and a drop play at the bag there. Shalinar missed that play. A little bobble hit. And Riley gets on the bag. Get a sub coming in here. Trying to hear what we could. It's got to be the runner there. So number five, Jane Roy is designated runner, taking over for Riley. Got Eliza Wagstaff here. First strike thrown. We've got two strikeouts from Ms. Wagstaff today. Number 10, freshman, batting eighth in the order. Seen that name Wagstaff around on the soccer field and basketball field. Roy looking to make some action happen with the leadoff there. One and one is the count. Swing and a miss. Drop ball. Stand up. Stolen base there. Two and one count. Runner on second base. Here's the wind up. Ball on the outside with Roy taking another little bit of a lead off of second base. Woodsville really looking to put the pressure on here. And this is what Coach Gagne was talking about. You know, Woodsville was running the bases on them the last time they met on the 19th. Strike there. Strike three. And the end of the inning. So Miss Wagstaff finishes it off. Um, 
Oh, I gotta I gotta do this. There we go. <laughs> I missed something there. So yeah, at the end of the sixth inning, it puts us with Bennett, Simpson, and Shalinar coming up at the top of the seventh. We got Woodsville four, Spartans one, and a little bit of a team huddle there on the third base line as the Spartans continue to scrutinize what they're gonna do to stay in this game. But we'll hear that from them in just a few minutes when they get up to bat and really make some action happen. So stick around. You're watching high school softball here in Woodsville, Fluff Team Entertainment Network. <laughs> And throw down to second base from our catcher, Emily Farr, number 21. Just in time for Jalen Bennett to step up. Top of the seventh here in sunny, sunny, warm Woodsville, New Hampshire. Maddie Kingsbury still on the mound. 126 pitches thrown from her today. And I'm Impressive outing with 17 Ks, six base on balls, one wild pitch. Total of six innings pitched. Still throwing those strikes in there. One and one count now. Jalen Bennett, junior number 11, as our catcher. Inside there for a ball. Two and one count now. Looking to make something happen here for Sparta. Mm-hmm. Foul ball there. Two and one. Sorry, two and two. My apology. I was reading the, the foul count, uh, not the strike count. Two and two count. No out. Strike three thrown. Jalen Bennett got caught looking on that one. Kingsbury was ready to take advantage of it. Emma Simpson coming up. Two strikeouts early on in the game. Third and fourth inning. Showing bunt there. My apologies. It looks like that's number 14. We have a sub in. I missed that sub. That is Adriana Dammy. Is coming in now. Strike two there. Adriana Dammy is coming in. She is our freshman, I believe. Let me see. Nope. Sophomore, number 14. And she is gone just as we're getting used to seeing her. Strike out there. Two up, two down for Miss Kingsbury. All right, top of the order here. First pitch is a way bit outside to Grissa Shalinor, sophomore first baseman. Had a strikeout in the first. Base on ball, and then another strikeout. Three plate attempts for them. Two at bats because the base on balls not necessarily counting as an at bat. Another strike thrown there. Two balls and one strike with two strikeouts ahead of her. Marissa Shalinor looking to. Keep the Spartans alive in the top of the seventh inning. High pitch there for a bobbled ball. 
Emily Farr was quick to pull it back down, though, so as to not let it get away. Is another strike. Full count now. Kingsbury making a set. Foul tip, keeping alive for another pitch thrown. Pitch seemed just a little bit low. And she was digging under it to try to grab it. Just cut just a little bit too much under it. There we go again, just a little under that one. Krista looking to make something happen here for Sparta. Trying her best to knock it around, get a base runner going. Fortunately, not connecting as full as she'd like. And swing and a miss on that one there. So three visited, three retired, three more strikeouts. 20 strikeouts on the day for Miss Kingsbury. So leading us off here, we've got Dory Roy and the top of the order, Matty Roy and Leah Krull as we visit the bottom of the seventh here in Woodsville. Stick around for more high school softball here on the Flume Stream Entertainment Network. Apologies to those viewers at home. It seems that I was mistaken. I think we were going for nine. We did miss the good game, cheering and handing, shaking at the plate there because this is the end of the game. We do have a final score of White Mountains 1 with your host team, the Woodsville Engineers, winning 4-1. So we're uh, just finishing out the closing of our game right now with a 4-1 a matchup with Woodsville. I, I thought this was going... Nine innings, my apologies on that. But, uh, yeah, it's a uh, fast game, hot heat like that. But uh, Woodsville did what they needed to do to keep their undefeated streak here. We've got them with 11 wins on the season. Didn't really get a chance to talk too much about their past visit when uh, White Mountains hosted Woodsville on the 19th. They did win 7-3 to three there, and then they... Uh, they do a commanding lead here on um, this showing with a, a four to one win. Kingsbury going the entire game, 141 total pitches, 20 strikeouts, including the last three in a row there with Bennett, Simpson, and Shalinor to finish out the seventh inning. But not to be undone, we got McIntosh with 14 strikeouts of her own, 98 total pitches thrown there. I don't have any walks. We got a handful of hits there from that team. But I tell you, it was a great showing to see both of these fielders or both of these teams come out to these fields and uh, do their best to do what they could. But at the end of the day, Woodsville is going to take it four to one. So I want to thank you for tuning in today for Littleton Regional Health Air's coverage of the 2022 NHI AA Division Three, Division Four Interdivision Girls Softball here in Woodsville, New Hampshire. I want to give a shout out and thank you to my crew, James Dugay, here next to me as well as Brody Tours and Keegan Fillion up on the cameras. And, of course, we wouldn't be here without the help from all of our sponsors. So give a thank you to Gail at Littleton Regional Healthcare and the Alpine Clinic. A special thank you to Jeff at George M. Stevenson Sons, Matt at White Mountains Community College, Jan over at Woodsville Guarantee Savings Bank, Mike at North Country Ford, and, of course, all of our other regional sponsors that helped us get here as best as we can. And I want to spend a, a special shout-out and thank you to all of our regional supporters and, of course, you, our viewers. 
My name is Chad Fillion. Thank you for watching. This has been a Flume Media Production.